Well, my story actually started uh, beginning of uh, 2018, January 2018. Started to feel a little lump on the side of my neck and uh, didn't think nothing of it. The next day, it was bigger. And so I called my, my regular physician and he said to come in. And by then, it was three times the size. Uh, as we're going through all the photos, um, she says, um, she stopped at one and it was at the base of my tongue. And she says, I don't like what that looks like. As a musician, um, I felt that this could be the end of a lifetime of, of singing and playing music. So in March, I went to uh, Griffin Hospital and she did the surgery and they sent it off to the lab and it came back positive for cancer. The next thing we had to do after that surgery was they had to go after the cyst because it wouldn't go down. My lymph nodes, I guess, came to fight whatever that infection was and uh, they got infected with cancer. She did an excellent job. I didn't lose any feeling in my jaw, anything over here, my lip, my eyebrow, which she explained to me could happen during the surgery, but none of that happened. So I was, I was lucky. And then I had to go see Dr. Chung at the cancer center. So when I sp spoke to Dr. Chung, I, I kind of made it a point to tell her that, to help me with this, that if there's anything they can do to avoid my voice box, my vocal cords. And she said that the new technique that they've come up with in the year 2018 would probably help me in that fact where they didn't have to target my whole neck, that they were gonna target the spots. As we went through the treatment, I continued to sing and play. A year ago, actually this month, um, I was facing the thing that I might not make it through cancer. Griffin Cancer Center um, actually did give me my life back. And um, I'd like to thank them by doing this benefit, Rock Against Cancer, to help anybody else that we can help with cancer. I know you want to leave me, but I refuse to let you go.